watching Lit Happens, Saskatoon's showcase of Saskatchewan's literary talent. We're going to shake things up today a little bit on Lit Happens because normally we have an author and we have the author's book here. And, well, the, the guest today is an enterprising writer in Saskatchewan, but he uh, isn't exactly a book author yet. And we're going to talk about that. So, Craig, welcome to the show. Thanks, man. <clears throat> now you here we are we have Craig Siliphant here you're a uh, an icon of Saskatchewan's writing world stop oh no <laughs> stop <laughs> whether you realize it or not I think you are and I know we're going to talk about the book that you have in the works a little later but first I want to tell tell the viewers exactly what you do and what you write uh well I guess really I would term myself a writer critic filmmaker yeah. I guess and broadcaster even oh for uh, sure my full-time gig is at Rolco Radio I'm the creative director and entertainment editor there but I also uh, am a freelance writer I write mm -hmm. in all kinds of publications from the National Post to uh, Planet S or Prairie Dog in Regina uh, as well as uh, I work for Fahrenheit Films uh, and I think our claim to fame there was really a documentary called Stolen Sisters that aired on Global Nationally about murdered and missing Aboriginal women oh for sure I remember it I remember it very well now First of all, how do you multitask like this? Well, it all really started because, I mean, I think you and I have talked about this before. Mm -hmm. I really, like, grew up wanting to be a writer, and I grew up writing fiction. Uh, and all that time, I wished, you know, that somebody would pay me to write something. And I, I went to the U of S. I have a degree in English. Yes. Uh, and eventually, like, I did all kinds of crazy jobs. I caught shoplifters. I had guys pulling <laughs> needles on me and stuff. And I was, you know, going home from those jobs and pounding out articles for Planet S or wherever. Eventually kind of got my foot in the door. Uh, and ended up being sort of more on the, like I said, the broadcast or, or journalistic side of things or, or film criticism and stuff like that. Uh, and now, you know, now I get paid to write and wish I could, you know, write more fiction like I used to. Yes. Uh, yeah. Actually, a lot of times being a writer isn't exactly a path. I mean, it's a path that wavers because a lot of times we are writing, but we're not writing exactly what we want to be writing. Yeah. And I guess in the province, uh, you know, it's we're obviously a small province. It's not Toronto. We're not in Vancouver. So mm -hmm. I felt like if I wanted to, you know, be able to write for a living, I had to sort of become adept at, you know, several different styles and genres. And I mean, it all comes back to uh, sure, each one has different sort of rules of, of how you have to set things up and write things. But it's all really, it starts with story and it starts with characters, whether you're yes. talking fiction or something journalistic. I mean, uh, the best articles I write journalistic-wise aren't these sort of dry, boring things. They really Not find the human story in there and, and sort of, you know, go with that story. Yes, and your work in Planet S is very, I read it constantly, and I think that's what's made you a, a local celebrity here in Saskatoon, even though you have things published on a broader scale than that. But that's, I, that's how I... I added you to my Facebook friend list because <laughs> I liked your articles in Planet S so much. Well, thank you. Well, it's a great publication, and it, yes. uh, we don't, uh, or the, I should say the editors don't, uh, you know, ghettoize the writing and stuff like that. They make yes. sure that they, they find excellent writers and, and treat them well and pay them well so that they continue to have, you know, excellent writing, especially when there's a lot of competition sort of cropping up right now, which is a new thing for Saskatoon in, in that yeah. world. Yeah. yeah. So tell us a Typical day in the world of Craig's elephant. Wow. Uh, well, I guess I, uh, I get up, I kiss my wife goodbye, and uh, head down to the radio station. Uh, I'll, I'll, it usually works sort of on a week cycle. So I'll have like, uh, I have a show on, on News Talk that I have to do every week, as well as I run the creative department at the station itself. Yes. Then in my you know, off hours, I'll have to, you know, whether it's interview somebody uh, for an article I'm writing, pound out the article itself. I probably work a good you know, 60 plus hours a week between, you know, Rolco and my uh, freelance uh, business. Yes, completely. And then uh, when you can squeak in a little bit of your own time, you are working on your own project. That is true. I'm yeah. uh, writing a book about the Saskatchewan uh, music scene. Uh, and I want it to be really cool yeah. and not like sort of dry and historical, but it'll be sort of part memoir because obviously I grew up in the music industry and scene in, uh, you know, in, on the prairies. Uh, so sort of part memoir, part theory, uh, you know, questions that you and I have talked about before, like, uh, you know, is the fact that we're blanketed by winter eight or nine months of the year, does that affect how our bands sound? Or, or, you know, is it an incubator for better music than you might hear in Toronto? How's the size and our geographical isolation, how does that affect our, our, our scene? You know what I mean? Stuff like that. And then, you know, a little bit of history in there. Who are the, who are the Northern Pikes? Who are, yeah. you know, who are Pork Sword? 
Well, and I think it's just terrific that you're writing this book. And I've actually had the same idea for this this sort of a book over the years because Saskatchewan has had a broad impact on the whole world's music scene right from the days of Joni Mitchell to this explosive thing that's happening with the sheepdogs right now. And uh, I think it needs to be documented and needs to be put out there for the people to read. Well, first of all, don't steal my idea. No, it's mine I'm... now. I call it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Second of all, though, I think part of the reason for the book was, I mean, it, it, it is sort of a cry for credibility, I guess, in, in the larger world, really, like for the Saskatoon yes. or, or even the prairie music scene, uh, to sort of sort of debunk, I guess, a lot of those uh, preconceived notions that someone in Toronto might have or, you know, that we don't have a music scene here, basically. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that that's a big part of it, too. And to, and to give us some, uh, you know, whether somebody in Toronto reads it and goes, hey, well, maybe that's true. It's more, I guess, for, for people here to, to kind of get behind and go, yeah, man, that's how we feel. You know, we're, we, we are important and we are we are influential. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm, I'm excited. I, I think it's just going to fly so uh, any idea when we can expect it to emerge? I know Probably it's... like next year. I'm really starting to really? get into the uh, uh, planning. I think like the bands that, uh, you know, like we spend all winter writing our albums. Yes. I think I'll probably try and, and you know, start doing the, the bulk of the writing during the winter when I'm just trapped in the basement to, for eight months. Oh, completely. Uh, we've had a lot of writers on this show, and that's what we talk about a lot is yeah. winter. And it's funny then how it like... You know, you, you talk about it in the lit world. We talk about it in the music world. Mm -hmm. How it, you know, how all these things, uh, how you know, how winter is an incubator for our creativity. Yes, uh, for sure. And Saskatchewan's literary world and music world are quite interwoven. And I'm learning more and more about this all the time. So, and I think it's really great that you're the one writing the book. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah. So, I think that's about all the time we have for Lit Happens today. If you enjoyed this episode, you can check us out on YouTube. There's previous episodes there. Or you can go onto Facebook and like us. So, Craig, thanks for being here today. Thanks it was for terrific. having me. And we'll see you next time on Lit Happens. Mm -hmm.